Hello and welcome to a new Duster Trails video. In this episode we would like to highlight the importance of a well-maintained air conditioning system for your car. Did you ever wondered how the radiators are installed and what's the easiest method to replace them? Well, we bet you did. So let's start with the one that you actually see in front of your car, the AC radiator. If we are overdoing the information part and you see too much text on the screen, don't hesitate to pause the video and read at your leisure. The AC system degrades over time, losing coolant and also airflow. This will automatically increase your fuel consumption in summer up to 35% depending on the speed you are driving and your air conditioning status. As you can see, we tried to protect the radiator from gravel or pebbles uh, by installing an aluminium mesh in front, which was supposed to protect it a little bit more, but over three years the damage was still there. We chose Ridex for a test sample, as they have great prices and great distribution. As you can see, the AC radiator is a very sensitive part, so we were pleasantly surprised to see how well it had been protected in transportation. The packaging is exceptional in terms of resistance, so bravo to Autodoc. And if you want to test them yourself, we recommend that you use our cumulative Autodoc Trails voucher that you can find on our Facebook group. Now we established that your car air conditioning system degrades over time, but this doesn't mean it's just the parts who are getting old or damaged, it also means that you are constantly leaking coolant gas. It's a similar coolant to the one that you have for your fridge or AC at home. This gas is stored into a liquid form and as it changes from liquid to gas, beside cooling your interior, it also moves the heat outside into the radiator for it to be dissipated into the airflow. This is why you have propellants next to your AC radiators. When the airflow is weak, the propeller helps to increase it. But the more effort you put in your cooling, the more fuel you are going to consume. This is why it's so important to maintain your AC system, to burn less fuel while you are cooling your car. Therefore, refilling with uh, coolant gas every 1-2 years your AC system is an operation that we recommend, as you are losing it by default over time. But you should also remember to look out for your radiator and try to take that in account that it also gets damaged over time and the airflow will get decreased. Now let's move to the actual installation steps. This is where we are going to see where the air conditioning radiator is going to be installed, what nuts and bolts is keeping in, in position and what are the safety operations that need to be done to ensure that you are correctly removing the gas and putting it back in and you don't allow any leaks of that gas outside into the air. Remember that these gases are not particularly well uh, suited for nature and they are big contributors to actually global warming, so don't do this at home. Și de ce ai nevoie să dai farurile afară? Nu poți să l ajungi la șuruburi sau cum? Vezi, instanțe sportive. Aha. E la supra la grupe la afară. Să ridică supra în timp de radiatoare în spate. Since we are generally trying to make these videos short, about 10 minutes, we do have a lot of information in text format on the screen. And this can be proved difficult to read at some moments, so don't hesitate to pause the video to be able to read it. And also for better visual details, we recommend that you also watch the video on your YouTube on TV. Uh, that will give you a better screen and better visibility. So, enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, this will motivate us uh, to do more and to focus on topics that really matter for the smart driver. Thank you and enjoy the video.
Trebuie adus radiatorul înapoi pe poziție la vechi. Are o poziție.
trage din aia sau nu se vede? A tras, mai... Deci nu trebuie băgat foarte, foarte mult. Adică nu te gândi că e o cantitate. E o cantitate 0,25, 0,5. Nu 